Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> we are about to embark on our first ever tow rig mission with the 07. Uh, kind of unplanned, so we are going to head and get right into it. We have this Kurt um, custom wiring harness extension. Uh, it's for Dodge full size trucks. Part number is 56071. Uh, there is your <clears throat> trailer pin for the bed right here. Uh, basically moves the seven pin connector uh, or splits it rather from having it in the bumper to putting it in the bed. Comes with this really nice harness here. Uh, plug and play so you'll unplug your factory seven pin. Plug this sucker right in. Very nice kit. 90 degree plug. You got this guy here. Um, all we gotta do basically is just drill a hole saw uh, to this size here and figure out where we wanna mount it. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. We are also gonna seal the 07's brake controller real quick. Uh, quad cabs brake controller that is. Um, these are pretty simple. There is a blue plug right down here. It's right up here. See so guys, that blue plug right right there at the top that blue plug there basically you get a brake controller to dodge adapter here and that's it so i'm gonna get that plugged in then we'll at least have a brake controller for the trip and then get our harness moved all right we made our hole sucker slides right through there ran the harness down through here connect it up through here and then i'll show you down low boom i like to Put the plug as close to the tailgate as I can so that way nothing can break it. From here, we are going to go under the truck and install the jumper. Basically, that's all this is it's just a splice and uh, it hooks to the back of this. And there's your factory uh, harness there. So, all we gotta do is just basically route this harness here over to here, go over the frame rail, and we'll be done. All right, for right now, this will do. Got it all plugged in. Zip tied up, should be ready to hit the road. A quick light check, uh, everything passed. The brakes work on the trailer with that brake controller. Um, that is not a brake controller that I'm uh, a huge fan of. It's just, you know what they say guys, in stock, in stock. So I'm gonna get everything closed up and let's hit the road. So for those of you guys that are new, this is my Big Tex 22 GN 40 foot flat deck pull out ramp. Um, I think when I scaled this thing, it weighed like 7,200 pounds. So, I mean, again, not the heaviest thing. Oh my goodness, croc down. But uh, for a stock 48 RE, this could get fun. Just for the record, I want everybody to know that I do not recommend towing this much weight on a stock trans. But, you know, guys, it's Sunday. I said my prayers and uh, maybe, maybe we'll pull off a, maybe we'll pull off a good day. Who knows? But uh, so far, I'm gonna be honest, uh, this 48 uh, struggles to get this load moving. But, um, you know, that we knew it was gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I think the lower stall converter will help quite a bit. And right now, I'm super nervous more about overspeeding the turbo. So I'm capping the throttle acceleration off to about 32 pounds of boost. Um, this is our uh, single injection event tune. Um, so if I had to guess on a dyno, maybe 550 horsepower, uh, if it had a turbocharger, which it doesn't. So I'm gonna say it's probably right at 500. We're pulling a little bit of a hill here. Again, we are unloaded, just so everyone knows. But you guys can watch as the, there's the boost right there. EGT's in the middle. It stays relatively decent on the uh, boost there. 30 pounds we definitely will have a lot more fun towing our uh, latest purchase home but uh, I'm not too worried about trans temp on a day like today because it is very cold outside um, that's also gonna benefit us on our cooling temp as well uh, we have done no upgrades to our cooling system uh, on either side of that so there's a kind of a two-prong solution in my opinion um, if you get rid of the heat exchanger, the transmission fluid temperature 
is colder um, for the most part. Now there is an argument there that once it reaches that temp, the engine coolant, but rather than overload our engine coolant temperature with another system we gotta try to keep cool, uh, what I find is isolating the transmission uh, temperature and pulling that out of the cooling stack that will help our cooling system as well as a couple other mods that we'll do later on you know when it's you know june july and we have a truck on the back of this and it's hot but uh so far everything's doing great uh, again stock converter stock input shaft uh to my knowledge once we pull the trans apart i'll be able to give you guys a better idea of what this thing had in it but we're just going to uh hit the road um save you guys any time lapses or anything like that and let's show you uh what we may or may not be bringing home we are on our way home we have secured a project i will show it to you guys once we're back um the guy i bought it from just didn't really want to be on camera so no big deal uh yes my brights are on because it's a third gen so uh we are currently towing 24,000. 700 pounds with a stock 48 um, what I have found is if I give it too much throttle it actually slips the converter so we're riding that fine line of stock turbo stock 48 uh, you know trying to keep the boost below 28 pounds and really we're not trying to make great time on the way home I just want to make it home but the EGTs have been phenomenal. Uh, the highest I've seen it is like 1200. Again, I'm not able to put the full horsepower down uh, just due to the converter clutch, or maybe it's, who knows, might even be the forward that's slipping. Um, but all in all, it hasn't been terrible. Uh, on the way down, I got 12.6 miles to the gallon. On the way back, I'm sure it's not gonna be anywhere close to that. But uh, all in all, it's been doing great and I'm very happy with it. We have made it home, um, got in really late. Uh, I'll show you guys what we got tomorrow in the daylight. I think uh, a lot of you guys will be pretty excited. And uh, I will say this, the 07's lockup clutch is now compromised in the stock 48, but that unit back there got us home, and that's all you could really care about. I'm gonna go to bed, wake up in the morning, and do it all over again. That is what we picked up a 2007 king ranch f250 um it obviously has the 6.0 power stroke and if we bought it it obviously has some problems um it is studded the egr has been done um i think um it's got a new ficum with a ficum tune um it does crank kind of funny uh as far as like oil pressure so I'm sure we're gonna have to dive in there, maybe some lazy injectors or something. Uh, but it cracked the radiator and the water pump needs replaced is what I got told. So that's where we're gonna start on this project is replacing the radiator uh, as well as doing the water pump, fill it with coolant and see how it does. Um, I got a pretty decent deal I feel for a King Ranch four wheel drive. Um, it is a crew cab short bed. Uh, and yeah, it's got Archon wheels on it. Not a huge fan, so I'll be posting those up for sale. Um, get some different wheels on her. Uh, but we are picking back up with the six liter power stroke. I know a lot of you guys are asking about the single cab. Um, I got a level with you. Uh, we got that truck really cheap, fixed it really cheap. 
and I got an offer I could not afford to pass up on that truck. Um, being that it was a manual, as far as trying to make a six liter like faster, um, I felt like the five R's a better platform. So rather than gutting up a really valuable truck, um, we decided to sell it. Uh, this truck has high miles, it's like over 300. If I put a hole in the hood for a hood stack with compounds, if I gut the AC, any of that stuff, like I do not care about this truck because we got it so cheap. Um, and it's in decent shape. I mean, it does run and drive. I couldn't drive it very far, but it pulled itself up on the trailer. Uh, like I said, it's got that weird crank, but that is the truth on the single cab. You guys have been very relentless in the comments and I've been paying attention. Um, so on top of our pre-emissions 07 tow build uh, that now definitely needs a trans. Um, we have that in the works. We have the quad cab 07s uh, revival for the 23 season um, as well as our uh, six liter project. Now this 6.0 does have a gooseneck and a few other things so we might try even tone with it. For right now, I just need to get it back up to running and driving standards. Um, everything looks okay. It is rust free. It's been a Georgia truck its whole life. Um, so the frame's not rusty. The axles look fine. Like everything looks good. Um, the guy that had it owned it for almost three years. Yeah, almost three years. Um, and it broke down on him towing his toy hauler up to I think Kentucky. So if he felt comfortable enough at that time driving it to Kentucky, I'm sure it's okay. Uh, he gave us the water pump. I ordered the radiator from XDP. And that is where we're going to start on this project. Obviously, you guys saw the coolant stains everywhere. Um, he said that that's all been done. Uh, Garmin, Jeff Garmin down in, I believe, Georgia did all the work. So I'm hoping that everything is kosher and it just needs that. We shall see. I told you guys, as things started rolling in, I would show you what's going on. Gotta give a big thank you to our man over at FI, Jarrett, uh, for getting us set up with our primary atmospheric charger for the new compounds on the 07. Um, and inside of here, big thank you to my man, Frank Davis, owner of Sin City Diesel uh showed us where to get new plastic or rubber trim for the mega cab uh window trim uh it's kind of like flaking it's very common in the southwest area where it just kind of just starts to peel apart but guys we are back on the six liter train i apologize and just just to show you guys that i knew we were going to get back into it okay look right here it had to be an 05 or newer truck um, because those are ported fleece o-ringed heads right there we have another set of head studs we have some 330 150 injectors we got a set of compounds with steed speed manifolds so guys when i say that we are going to do a six liter i mean it uh, again i just could not pass up the opportunity to pretty much double my money on that single cab and uh, i took it so Realistically, we now have a King Ranch, which has been the trim package I've always wanted. If you guys go way back to when we had that white XLT truck, I said I wanted a King Ranch swap it. Well, now I don't have to, we have one. Anyway guys, I know that was a lot of talking. Give this one a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, subscribe if you are not already, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the next one.